to do ballet. And, uh, and, and I just suddenly thought, okay, well, here's my opportunity. I can really do something special for these people. And it could also be a really fascinating project for me to work on. So it's kind of like me, a bit like me finding myself again, but also in the process being able to help a lot of people um, achieve their sort of dreams and passions. And in the end, uh, you know, I, re I identify with them a lot. You know, uh, several people have asked me, how does, a, how does a guy from Utah in the United States identify with somebody in Sub-Saharan Africa? You know, it's like, you guys come from so it's a different <laughs> world. But at the same time, you know, I grew up in the 1980s in Utah. We didn't have, you know, mobile technology. We, we didn't have any ways of really keeping up with the rest of the dance world. What was happening in New York for me was like, it may as well have been on Mars. Mm -hmm. So in a lot of ways, with the internet now, people in, in, say, Madagascar would have access to way more information about what the Paris Opera is doing, who's getting promoted, what rep they're doing, you know, more than I did as a kid. Mm -hmm. So it was just sort of this, like, I just, in, in some small ways, I really identified with these, a lot of these people and felt like I was in a very unique position to do something to help them out, but also to help our art form. I think it's really imperative that we in the mainstream ballet world open up and reach out to people across the planet uh, for the betterment of our of our art itself to help it grow in a positive direction and and, and incorporate new ideas and new people and, and to continue to build um, on what we've created. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I guess Ballet Rising is kind of that little, um, I guess, I guess you could say tool <laughs> to facilitate that, I guess. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's kind of... Okay, great. So with, I know this is, and, and I actually kind of struggled this first time too, coming from an arts background directly into, say, starting a, a company like this. What have been some, some resources or mentors or just people that you have spoken with that have helped you go from an idea to actually implementing this organization? Um, all my friends. <laughs> um, yeah, I've, I've been surrounded for many years, uh, by a lot of really wonderful, intelligent, uh, people. Um, one of the first people that really came on board and, and took the project to another level was my friend, Chris. He and I were both dancers in the Dutch National Ballet. We moved to Amsterdam at the same time, both from the U S and we both started doing photography at the same time as well. Mm -hmm. Um, and he had moved back to the U.S., retired, went full time into photography, filmmaking. Now he's had a phenomenal career. Um, he came to me. I was looking for ways of funding all of this. You know, obviously these people in in these schools around the world they don't have money to pay for me to come. So it was really like, where are we gonna? How are we gonna fund this? So I was looking at doing a um, um, a nonprofit. You know, doing some fundraising, things like that. I've always been fascinated with crowdfunding. That's a um, something that I, I think has so much potential if we can sort of really get it going right. Mm -hmm. um, so he came on board and was like, listen, let's make films about this uh, because I think they're fascinating stories. These are cool people and everyone would just love to hear about it. And that might be a way in which we can uh, fund it through sponsored films. Um, so he, he had a major, major impact on it and is still having a major impact. He's a, editing our films right now. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, my friend Brianna Stewart was great, you know, talking about a lot of social issues. And uh, one of the things we talk about in Ballet Rising is, is some of the racial uh, issues, you know, just recently they've started, they've stopped calling skin colored tights, skin colored tights. And now they have a wider variety of all different skin tones and shades and, and all of them are skin colored. They're just, which one, you know, mm -hmm. this is kind of something that only recently dawned on us that, that, skin color doesn't necessarily mean white skin. <laughs> right. um, so yeah, she had a big impact. And my friend Marguerite had a big impact. She's a ballet fan from London who came in and did the same. She was like, I don't know how I can help, but if there's any way I can, let me know. I was like, great. So uh, she's been wonderful. Um, yeah, and just recently, Lindsay Elisa King came in and did the same thing. She was just like, I love this project. I just want to be a part of it. Um, mm -hmm here's my skills, what can I do? And she came in and just started writing the most phenomenal articles and, and cleaning up all of my bad writing. <laughs> so yeah, these people have been phenomenal. There's, there's a lot of people that have really helped out a lot, but uh, 
this is sort of my core group that's that's been really influential and just yeah without them this wouldn't be anywhere near where it is right now <laughs> yeah oh, great so you mentioned a couple of films and I know that you know since the time that I've known you that uh, especially this summer you went and, and filmed a few different things what so could you tell talk a little, talk a little bit more about the the content of the films that you're making and and when they will be released yeah um, so yeah, we were filming in, in Brazil, Well, we've done, we were filming in India and Nepal, but we didn't manage to get sort of enough types of, we didn't get the material we needed to actually make a film. So we ended up getting a lot of, um, yeah, we got some photos, we got a teaser video. Um, but we hope to go back there and, and do a proper full film at some point. So what we did in August was uh, in Brazil and we went originally to, to film a very good friend of mine named uh, Danny Robert Silva. Um, he's a beautiful dancer. He's in sort of a, he's an up and coming star in the Dutch National Ballet. He's just um, got an incredible presence on the stage, phenomenal technique, great line, all of this stuff. But he comes from a quite a, a tragic background. His mother was killed when he was very young. He comes from a, a very, very poor part of Brazil. And um, his father was in prison and he was raised by his grandmother. It was just hard times, you know, a lot of drugs and violence and, and death around him as a kid. And now he's, he's growing up, he's put it all behind him and he's working hard and he's becoming a, a pretty phenomenal ballet dancer. So we wanted to, you know, just bring, uh, tell his story about where he's from and what's happening. And, and then we went to Rio and that was <laughs> really exciting. Uh, but very stressful. <laughs> uh, we had several stories we were looking to film and, and just one by one, they just weren't panning out. And, you know, we had meetings scheduled to interview people and that doesn't, didn't happen. We were supposed to go to this place and we couldn't get in, you know, it was just, we were there for eight days. And, and on the fourth day we were like, Oh my gosh, we're not going to get anything. Mm -hmm. um, but we found a, uh, a woman uh, from, well, she's originally from Rio, but she danced professionally in Cuba. And while she was in Cuba, she worked on a, a project where they would go out into the city and, and teach ballet for free to underprivileged children. So she brought that project back to Rio and now she's going, she's got uh, tons of students that come from some of the worst favelas in Rio and uh, a lot of really phenomenal stories. And she's produced a couple of really amazing dancers. One of them now is in the Stuttgart Ballet, which is one of the top companies in the world. Another one is in uh, Dance Theater Harlem, which is a pretty amazing company. And then there's a whole bunch of other students that, that got into the Teatro Municipal, the main ballet company in Rio. Mm -hmm. So she's just doing a, an incredible thing and just helping a lot of people. And um, at the same time, she's uh, losing funding. The current government in Brazil right now is just pretty much slashing all all funding for the arts. And so we wanted to just go down there and just tell her story to the international dance community to, so that they know that what she's doing and hopefully it'll sort of um, get a lot of, a lot of people involved to, to see what we can do as a dance community to help her and other people like her. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we found those stories. We got all the shots we needed. Um, you know, we're, we got everything. We, we did it. We finally did it. We didn't get mugged. <laughs> <laughs> you know, everyone told us, they were like, listen, you go to Rio, you expect to get mugged. So, and we had about 40,000 euros worth of film equipment with us. So we were like, okay, please don't get mugged. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I, it's, it's a phenomenal country, phenomenal people. We had the best time and we were a little scared. You know, we have a lot of friends who are from Brazil and everyone told us, be careful, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. We ended up having the best times of our lives and met some truly phenomenal people. And yeah, it was just a great experience all around. Wow, that's great. So with with everything that you've done and experienced so far, what would you say has been the best advice that you've ever received? Mm. Um, I couldn't tell you who actually said it. I think multiple people have always said it and and, and it just always stuck with me and it's just be yourself. Um, yeah, cause life can get away from you, especially, especially when you're successful, but also when you're, when you're feeling down, you know, we always project a lot of things on ourselves, um, and to always just be yourself, uh, and to go your own path, you know, 
Mm -hmm. um, I think it was something that, yeah, like I said, several people have told me and it, and it really stuck with me. I just, I think that's so important to know who you are, what you want. Um, and yeah, don't try to be something you're not, you know, or, or be, try to be something, you know, be great, but actually be it. Don't just put on a persona, you know? Mm -hmm. So I, I think that's something that really grounded me a lot throughout my life and, and I'll continue to concentrate on that. Yeah. Excellent. So if the listeners would like to uh, read more about what you're working on, find out more information about Valley Rise and, or, and watch the, the videos that are coming out, where are the best places they can go to do all that? Uh, we're going to be putting all of the content we're going to be making. So yeah, we're going to hopefully do some podcasts. We'll do some photo albums. Um, yeah, we've got the films. We'll hopefully do a lot more of that. We'll, we'll put everything on our website at uh, www dot ballet rising dot com we'll have it all there but we've we're also all over social media we were at um uh, ballet right at ballet rising on twitter and instagram and you can find us on linkedin and so yeah we'll we'll sort of centralize everything on our website but yeah, we'll we'll be posting stuff all over social media as well okay perfect excellent and i will make sure i put all of those in the show notes so they can click Great. right through Cool. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Casey. This is this was phenomenal. Uh, I really appreciated taking the time to chat with you. Yeah, cool. Thank you so much. It was really fun. Thank you for listening to another episode of the Advance Your Art Podcast. If you like this episode, please go into iTunes and give us a five-star rating. And while you're there, hit the subscribe button so that every single time I release a new episode, it will go directly to you without even thinking about it. If you're interested in hearing older episodes, please go to advanceyourart.com where you can find the catalog of everything I've done so far, as well as contact information and projects I'm working on. Thank you again and have a great day.